Look at this. How fun is this? Do y'all remember these days? Yeah. That is a thing of the past. So cool to see it though. Okay, today I'm at one of my favorite locations. I come here, a lot of times I come here once a week, at least once every two weeks. Um, and oftentimes it's because I see some amazing things that they post on Instagram and I wanna make sure uh, I can grab them before anybody else does, quite frankly. So I am at uh, a multi-vendor antique and vintage store called Gray Barn Antiques in Andover, New Jersey. Now Andover is a cute little town. I'm looking at it outside the windows right now. There are multiple antique uh, and vintage stores here in the town. Um, and uh, the location that I'm at today, Gray Barn, is the multi-vendor um, uh, location in town. So lots of different uh, people to choose from and items to choose from when I come here. So it's always fun because uh, there's just a lot of variety. And quite frankly, it's always fun because most things in the store are always 20% off. And many vendors frequently have 30 and 40% off in their booths. So, um, you know, we like that. That's a good thing. They also restock it daily. It's pretty amazing. So I am going to head in there today and see what they got. They just had a big weekend uh, sale in town. So um, there were big discounts for the holiday and uh, I wanna see um, what is on the shelves now that they were cleaned out uh, over the weekend. So I'm kind of excited for that. So I'm gonna head on in and show you what they got. I don't know about you, but every time I go into a particular store, I generally start in the same direction. And this is the first booth that I always hit when I come in here just to see what they have. This cute little curio cabinet with all these littles on it. Um, this particular vendor has uh, a 30% off sale. It looks like they're leaving at the end of the month. So definitely gonna pay a little bit of attention in this booth as I walk around. A lot of these really nice canisters. Oh, look at this roll top desk. Oh, interesting. It's actually the top of a roll top desk on those mid-century legs. How neat is that? That's a really cool piece. Oh, and I love this tray down here. Look at this rooster tray. How unique, how interesting is that? Oh, I like the colors too. How much is it? $24 with 30% off. I've never seen one like that. That's really neat. And there's some milk glass and some teacups. I'm gonna swing around. In the distance, you can see a little bit of Christmas. We're gonna hit that at the end. We're, this, uh, this big room here is one big circle, so I always go in the same direction. Uh, I like this vendor a lot too. There's always some kitschy stuff that I like, like these mugs. I find a lot of my Tupperware here. Oh, look at this beautiful piece here. Oh, isn't that nice? I love that planter. Oh, there's a big piece of hull down at the bottom. Big one. Oh, yep, there's the Tupperware. I'll need to go through that. Again, I was just here a few days ago, so they have restocked quite a bit. We'll see how much of it is new to me. I really like this fruit and nut tin. That's really nice. It's $10. I might need to get that for a mystery tin. I like putting mystery tins together. And look at this peanut crunch tin with uh, the baseball players. That's really neat. Oh, it's a Whitman. That's really neat. I like that. Okay, and some beautiful copper. Then look at here, some Christmas. A lot of ornaments on this stand here. I went through this over the weekend, this stand, and I see a lot of new ones that weren't here before, like this little lady. Oh, she's cute. Look at her. She might want a home. 
in my Christmas collection. So I'm going to look through those as well. What else is here? Oh, I like this. I've always liked this cabinet. They took the door off this cabinet, so it makes it really accessible. And there's always some beautiful glass to look at in here, including these mid-century glasses. Look at how beautiful they are. And then there are some smaller glasses as well. These glasses have a beautiful etching on them. Look at that. How pretty is that? So nice. I'm going to slowly pan over, see what else I see. 20% off in this booth as well. Those are pretty neat. I love those and I actually don't see that red color quite often in those trivets. So pretty, look at that one. Looks like they are $8 a piece. Again, 20% off. So always gotta keep that in mind in here. The prices are already good. <laughs> and then it's another 20% off. Oh, this is fun, I've had this before. This is a set of three poinsettia trays, uh, nesting trays. That's a really nice thing to have at the holiday time. Um, I might pull that out and take a look at it. Uh, I do have a holiday um, entertaining sale coming up, so that might be something I could find a home for. Oh, look at her. She is a big chalkware witch. Why? I don't, I don't remember seeing her. I wonder if I just, in my need to see all the Christmas, overlooked her last time I was here. Interesting. There's another case. I'll open it up just to take a look. I see some Santa mugs. Oh, I see some really cool little art glass. Little art glass pictures, I guess. They're little ewers. Um, $12.50. And look at that beautiful uranium glass plate back there. Oh, it's footed too. It's got little feet on it. That's great. Oh, look at this face too. They say it's acrylic. How neat is that? Look at that, you put the flower right down in that center, that center area, that's pretty cool. It's perfectly round too. That's a really neat piece actually. I like that. You know, I realize sometimes making these videos helps me slow down and see things that I typically don't see when I'm kind of rushing through a place to see what all the new items are. That's a pretty crackle glass picture as well. Look at that clear applied handle. Oh, look at this sweetie over here. Taking a nap in a little basket. There's a lot of nice things in this booth. Now here's a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Crochet Kit. It's always fun to find the vintage kits as well. There's some back here too. Some people really like those. Oh, these glasses are pretty for the holidays, aren't they? Oh, and look at this little, this little votive holder. I wonder if that's Fenton. I'm gonna take that out and take a look at it. Probably not. I don't think Fenton really uses that glitter as much. All right, I'm gonna head into the next booth, see what's there. This is sort of one of the fun retro booths in the, in the shop. Um, always have some new things to look at. There's this great penguin blow mold. And then this little dude over here, how cool is he? I don't remember seeing this one last time I was here. Look at that guy. They are fun. But yeah, there's just really a cool little assortment of things here. I mean, just this little display with the milk uh, jar, um, the old uh, spool, then the tin and the trophies. That's just a really neat display. And then the, the record, the holiday record in the background. Here's a cool ceramic snow person. Yeah, just a lot of festive things are starting to come into the store. I see a latch hook there. It looks like a bunch of Santa Clauses. Is it a tree skirt? It is a tree skirt, $30 tree skirt latch hook. That's fun. And some more Christmas here, some of the wooden Christmas 
ornaments, There's some beautiful puppies and jungle ceramics, cute little Beatrix Potter book. Now look at the look at the shade on that lamp. I think that's pretty cool. That lamp has a really cool look. Some Christmas ephemera down here with another latch hook project. I always like looking at the cards and I love it when people put them in the plastic. It just elevates them. It, to me, it makes them a, a bit more special. They're already special, but it makes them a bit more special. I love that. And then there's this really neat basket of vintage cookie cutters here. I know people really like those sometimes to tie on as little extra things on their gifts. Little, little extra gift. And there's this little front display as well with some Hallmark ornaments and some, some more rustic elements as well. Really nice things in this booth. Now this booth is another favorite because there are a lot of beautiful things and many of them are garden themed. So uh, a garden guy loves that. Um, there's a lot of florals, a lot of fruits, um, just really pretty and some really interesting pieces. I mean, look at this. I gotta read and see what this is. This is an Art Nouveau Lady and Peacock head wall hanging. How pretty is that? They have $40 on it. And there's these metal leaves all around it. Really nice display then. Look at this. These wooden mirrored candle holders surrounded by the shells. That's so cool. And then there's this pretty print here. That's really nice. Yeah, this is a really well curated booth. Like I love this lampshade. Look at how beautiful that is on this brass floor lamp. Beautiful little basket of linens. Some architectural elements. Oh, look at that. Wow. There's painted butterflies on the background and then actual metal butterflies applied to the top. That's really fun. And then there's these little guys. Yeah, this, this booth definitely has, um, has its own vibe, has its own character. And that's what's nice about this location, Gray Barn, is that every booth is a bit different from each other. So you pretty much can find anything uh, any style of something that you want here because there are just a mix of of styles and eras in the vintage that they stock uh, these are really an interesting shape set of four light green thick walled cups thick walled cups okay Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. Hand-blown amethyst vase with painted top. $22. Again, the prices here, again, with 20% off that, are really, really good. And then across the way, another really well curated booth. And from time to time, you do see a mix of newer things uh, here as well. But these gift tags, these, um, these newer uh, gift tags that are, you know, reminiscent of um, vintage items are really, really cool. Like this little shopper girl lady. Um, that's pretty fantastic. And look at that. Yeah. So... For those of us who can't access the vintage, there are opportunities still to have a vintage look with some of the newer items, including these, uh, these prints here. And I see that gorgeous pillow over there. But this is a pretty, pretty Afghan. Really like it. I like the black in it, surprisingly. It looks really cool. It's very graphic. Oh, look at this mirror for the boho folks out there. A couple 
Really nice cross stitches up here. Pleasant hours fly fast. That's a nice saying. Oh, look at this one too. That's really colorful. No matter where I serve my guests, it seems they like my kitchen best. <laughs> That's fun if you had someone in your life who was uh, uh, really uh, a chef or someone who liked to cook a lot or bake a lot. And it's only $15 now, it's been marked down. <laughs> and then it's 20% off that. So yeah, oh, there's a matching mirror there. Oh, once again, when I slow down, when I do these videos, I see things I feel like I didn't see before. Like, look at that little guy hiding back there. And he's got some sparkle in his eyes. And look at this. He's got a matching partner over here. And I'm just gonna take a step back because I really love the beautiful um, piece of furniture that all of that is in. And I love the fact that they've staged it with towels yeah, this is a beautiful, a beautiful booth. Look at these crates down here on the floor. These are perfect for, let me grab one. These are perfect for um, displaying Christmas ceramics in either way. In fact, now that I say it, I might get a few of these for the back of my cabinet to elevate some of my smaller ceramics. Yeah, and they are distressed, so they are made to look um, vintage. And I think I love them. Yeah, I think I might actually pick up a few of them for display purposes. It looks like there are three. Oh, and then there are some red ones as well. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, there's a fun little guy down there. I believe that's the same one I had as a child. Oh, that thing got abused. Oh, here are some, um, here are some vintage candle... Uh, clip-on candle holders. Those are a good deal too. Okay, look at that, that's beautiful. Oh, look at this old microscope case. It's metal and the microscope is inside. Oh, that's a fun thing too. Even for a display, if you, you know, you like science or you had a little scientist in the house or, you know, you just wanted to put a little um, nature display together. That would be really fun. Oh, and I love these. My house is full of these, these 60s, 70s, you know, landscape paintings with these beveled frames. Oh, I can't get enough of these. And look at that one. It, the way that it's painted, you definitely see like the sun. There's a glow in the back. That's really beautiful. Oh, this is cool too. Had I not seen this before? Look at this like medicine cabinet with the towel rack down here at the bottom. Lackawanna line supply. Oh, and it's actually got good storage in it too. This is quite beautiful. Looking for the price tag. I'm gonna have to come back and I don't see where it is. I'll come back and take a look at that as well. And yet another mirror down here at the ground level. So fun. So I'm in the back of the first side of the large room that I'm in, and this is the hallway section where um, there are bookcases with different vendors um, from top to bottom, $3 baby heads, um, and uh, always find something good here. Like those baseball gloves for people who love their milk, glass milk jugs. Yeah, so this is what it looks like in the back. Um, you can see the libraries here in the back and just a lot of, a lot of vendors. Um, as I said, uh, this, um, this location does uh, a weekly uh, Instagram, sorry, a weekly Facebook sale. And they use this backstage section to, um, to run that part of the business. And uh, these bookcases uh, sort of line the stage and just are full of really interesting things like these vintage glasses. Look at this old Coca-Cola glass. It's almost purple. That's really, really neat. Yeah, so I love looking through the shelves in this back section just to see what they have. You never know what treasure you're gonna find back here. And as I walk past the library and around the corner, uh, I come up across another booth that um, 
this booth owner and I have very similar tastes, I think, because I end up finding a lot of things here. But I just want to actually pan over here for a minute. How cool is this Sunland Soda Cracker tin? That is really neat. I like the color of it. It's kind of almost fully green, but yeah, it's really, really a neat color. But back to this booth. Yeah, I often find some treasures in here. Here's another one of those really interesting trays, display trays. I'm really starting to think about how I'm gonna put my Christmas ceramics out this year. Oh, I love these hand-painted or transferred um, chocolate pots. It's so beautiful. This one's only $12.50. Again, with 20% off that. That's really pretty. Some little planters and other pottery pieces. Some beautiful blue glass here. So look at these Annalise. Oh, there's this little guy. I just had him recently. This little angel bear. So cute. And then there's Mr. and Mrs. Claus here. I also have Mr. Claus. I don't have her though. That's fun. People love Annalie. Well, lots of people love Annalie, not everyone. And then there's a half a box of shiny brights down here, but I actually just like the box a lot. Isn't that really nice? It's a good display box. Some crystal Christmas ornaments and then some ceramics up here on the top. There's another Santa Annalie up there. That's not one I've had previously. Might take a look at that one. There's this gorgeous deer here. I wonder if that's Lennox. This, this vendor is Jazzy Junk. Jazzy Junk, that's a great name. Oh, it's Fitz and Floyd. Okay, that's a really neat piece. All right, a bunch of milk glass on the shelf over here. There's a kitschy little girl up here. I wonder what she's all about. What's going on with her, I wonder? She's got some cute little gold shoes on. Sorry if I am moving too quickly. Oh, I've, I've looked at this Annalie before. It's actually an anniversary Annalie, and it's this little painter with a paintbrush painting a birthday cake. How cool is that? 1998 to 1999 from the Annalie Doll Society. That's really cool. I've thought about that one a couple times. I also spend a lot of time on these shelves over here because there's always a bunch of rotating ceramics like these, um, these birthday girls. There's always some cute ceramics in here. And then a bunch of sewing notions, vintage sewing notions. Um, and then a beautiful McCoy pottery. This is one of the figural pieces, the dog in front of the uh, spinning wheel. One of the classic McCoys. And I believe it's the same vendor across the way here. Um, roosters. Oh, there's a really nice Pyrex piece here with a stand. I wonder if that's the stand that's supposed to go with this. I'll need to look that up because that's a really nice stand for a piece of Pyrex. People love their stands. They often got separated from their pieces. And there's another one down there. That is the scroll. I think they call it the Empire Scroll. And then there are some pieces back there too. I'm going to take a look at those because again, I know I keep saying it, but Hey, you can't argue with that, right? Then I see some buyers carolers over here, another collectible that lots of people love around the holidays. You always have to look at the bottom to see what year they were produced in. There's always this little seal. So this one is a 2000, but they do go back later and they're actually more contemporary as well. So this is actually, I think one of the older ones as this, um, as this collection goes. These two look like they should be together, so I bet she's 2000 as well as she is, yeah. So look at all these littles. Look at these little guys. They're adorable. Oh, a lot of cute little ceramics here. Look at all those. 
and some beautiful glass, all color coordinated. I just love when that happens. I think that makes the displays look so good. So many pretty little pieces of glass here. A lot of little pitchers, a lot of little bud vases. Once again, another booth with a lot to look at. There is an old Valentine's Day card. That's fun. They're hanging out here, waiting for someone to come along and adopt them. Down here on the bottom, we see some old games and some books. I always go through those to see what has uh, come in that's new. Love these old games. Bingo numbers. Oh, and then we have some really cool Star Wars mugs. I'm gonna need to look at those. I know people who love their Star Wars. So I'm gonna look at those, see what, actually, are they written on the bottom? Yeah, there's a lot of information about this on the bottom. So I'm going to, made in Korea, looks like 1989. Yeah, I believe these are probably highly sought after. So I might take a chance on those. But I love this lady. I've had her a few times. She's a little biscuit jar. If I remember correctly, she's made by Shawnee. So many good things. And because Thanksgiving is literally next week, let me just uh, end on this really cool picture of turkeys. $24. <laughs> so fun. So here's a booth that um, I wasn't actually able to get into this weekend. Every time I came by, it was packed full of people. <laughs> so I tried three or four times and I just never got a look to see what was in here. So now I'm curious to see what the interest was in this booth and already I see this cute little Halloween Annalee mouse. Um, this must be Annalee Central right now. I just see so many of them, um, but that's really sweet. A little flying witch mouse on a broom, this beautiful ceramic tree, $125 for that tree. And then this beautiful tree topper with Santa in the middle in its original box. And then down here, I see a little collection of the smaller size. Well, one, one of the typical size putts houses and then a bunch of the smaller ones. And these are the putts like houses. I don't think these are technically putts houses. Uh, they are made in Japan. Um, they don't have a lot of the mica glitter and they're made of um, the thinner cardboard, but they're actually pretty cool because there's a whole group of them. There are five in that style. I really like those. And again, 20% off. That's really cool. I'm gonna to need to grab a basket and shop, even though I was only here a few days ago. I see some beautiful hull pottery, a teapot and uh, cream and sugar. So great to find them in all together. The teapot is $65 and then there's these really fun Libby glasses with all the circus animals on them. And that is a fantastic deal. $18 for all of them. Originally started as $40. Um, and I know lots of people are just looking for one or two to complete their sets. So that could be a really great opportunity to do that. And then a couple November angels. It is November, so an appropriate time. A lot of little ceramics, some beautiful serving ware, and some dresser, dresser items. Really, really good. Cute little vignettes all over the place. Some teapots up here on the shelf. Not teapots, they're teacups and saucers. Oh, another McCoy planter. This is the wishing well. It's actually in the same line as the planter we just saw with the puppy in front of the spinning wheel. And down here's a really neat old framed map of Southern Florida. How neat is that? I even like the fact that it's in a, that blue, sea blue color. That's a really neat, uh, that's a really neat thing for people who like collecting things about Florida. Then there's this beautiful empty, there's no print or um, photo in it, but antique oval convex frame for $8, $18. And again, it looks to be in good condition. That could be a fun project for someone because there's enough space in there to even do something that was three-dimensional 
like a dried floral or something. That could be really fun. Or a little Christmas display with some flat pixie faces. Oh, I may be giving myself some ideas. I'm gonna look at that too, oh goodness. I literally have to go back and look at like 15 things that I said I need to look at. Here's a vendor that's 30% off. Again, just so much to look at. Like, I'm just gonna pick out a few things because there's just so much, like I love these glasses. They're very garden guy, really cool. And there's a whole bunch of other kitchenware and something I just tripped on. Look at these milk glass mugs, those are great. And this old desk lamp, how cool is that? Wow, it's even got those old buttons on the, the red and the black buttons, $45. Oh, here is one of the Norcrest kittens. So this is a line of kittens. If you don't know, there's also puppies, um, one for each month, and she's missing the little edge of her tail. I wonder if that matters, because people do collect those. Somebody might be able to repair her and give her a home and complete a collection. There's a little pixie face, some little penny dolls. A beautiful cabinet. Let's see what's in the cabinet. Oh, lots of linens. Looks like some rugs and some beautiful ceramics down at the bottom. And then some of the more softer collectible items, plates and teacups and saucers and little bowls and trinket dishes and vases. A lot of pretty things. Another cross stitch up there on the wall, so nice. Oh, and then a basket of ephemera. I love going through those. And over here, I see, well, I see some fun Christmas linens here. Look at Santa on that tea towel. But I also see this popcorn, not popcorn, this uh, spaghetti, Santa bank, and he also comes in a planter. He's really cool, but this one, as you can see, is a bank. So another beautiful booth here at Gray Barn. Now here's a booth of items that I typically don't highlight a lot, because I don't know a lot about them, but there are a lot of beautiful primitive items here. A lot of metal, some older books, some of those wire baskets. I don't know, were they for eggs or golf balls? I don't know, but look up here. Just some really cool things for people who have big spaces and like to decorate with this older, more rustic style. Love these batter bowls. They're so beautiful. And a lot of these iron, what are they called? Iron rests? What are, trivets, iron trivets. Some old egg beaters, look at those. How fun are those? Uh, some old no trespassing signs. And then some old drawer handles. Yeah, I know there's lots of people who just love to go through booths like this and look at all the old stuff and add to their collections. Um, I need to take some time to learn a little bit more about these types of things. And just a lot of metal pieces that all have a purpose, the purpose of which I do not know. Well, I can guess that this thing here was used to make some sort of food Looks like some kind of mold. Let's see. Chicken cake mold. So you can make a little chicken cake in there. Some funnels. Yeah, just some really, really beautiful things here for the collector. And oh my gosh, look at all of these, um, look at all these jars, all these mason jars with these nice old tops on them. And it looks like they're all $3. <laughs> Wow, if somebody really needed to, someone was crafting or really needed a bunch of mason jars to store things in, this to me looks like it would be a great opportunity to get a bunch at a great price. 
And then I'm back to the front of the big room uh, with the actually the first booth you would see when you walk in. And I saved it till the last because um, I always find some great things in here because as you can see, the booth owner has a good stock of holiday already, including some really large blow molds up on the top and the Pyrex cabinet, which I check out every time I'm here just to see if there's something there that I haven't had before. Um, I always go through every piece just to look at them. So good. Yeah, but this is another one of those booths where there's a definite point of view where the booth owner knows what he or she is trying to accomplish and does it very, very well. There are just a lot of beautiful things in here. There's the Santa. This is a harder one to find, the one with the blue bag and the blue present. $90, but again, 20% off. And then a couple hobbyist angels in front of a Santa mug. That's a Lennox Santa mug. And then this cute little guy this little flock set for $28. And then you probably saw this earlier, but the entire nativity scene is up here, including a little cradle for the baby Jesus. Now here's a Pyrex that you don't see all the time in the spring blossom, this big, big casserole lasagna dish. Yeah, that's a harder one to find. But yeah, it's just really well organized with some Corel pieces as well. I'm looking through the camera just to see if there's anything that I see that I haven't had. Oh, this is a nice set here. The primary color ones with the, uh, they're the glass ones with the glass bottoms, the clear bottoms. And there are some nice fridges here, a whole primary set. And then this one that goes with butter print, I believe. Oh, and there's the fun salad bowl or fruit bowl. I forget what they call it. I think they call it the salad bowl. But it's also named, if you don't know, it's also named the fetus bowl. So you can see all these fruit all around it. But then there's this thing here that's supposed to look like, I think, a pear with a leaf in front of it. But if you look really closely, it looks like a little fetus. So this has gotten the nickname of the fetus bowl, which I think is so funny. Oh, there's a whole set of Amish butter print here in the Cinderella bowls and another Cinderella bowl set of Old Orchard. And what is this? Garden medley casserole with lid? That is a pattern I don't recall seeing before. That's really pretty. There's some woodland back there. And look at this in-package cruet set, Pyrex cruet set. That's really cool. Here's a plastic lighted Santa. There's always some nice glass and ceramics around here on this wall. Look at all the colored glass here. Some uranium glass down here on the floor and then another blow mold Santa, a ceramic tree, some beautiful ornaments in their box, an almost complete box. For, for uh, let me see what the price is, for $20. $5 a piece for each of these ornaments because they're pink and gold, the colors of the season this year, that's a great deal. Plus you get a great box to put in your display. But I think the, the piece de resistance in this particular booth is this amazing North Pole blow mold. How cool is that? In really good condition, a little bit of paint loss, but not bad at all. And it is 60 bucks with 20% off. Yeah, really fun booth. Okay, so that concludes my trip to Gray Barn Antiques here in Andover, New Jersey. Uh, that was a great trip and it is a lovely day outside for being the middle of November. So um, if you like what you saw, you should know that Gray Barn has a pretty active social media presence. They do weekly sales on Facebook, actually. So you should go follow them over there. Um, they have an active Instagram account and they have a, they have a, a channel right here on YouTube. So uh, consider giving them a subscription. That would be fantastic. 
Speaking of subscriptions, if you are subscribed to my channel, thank you so much for coming back. Thanks so much for watching the video. Would love for you to leave a comment. I love to read what you all think about, about this crazy thing that I'm doing. Uh, and if you're not subscribed and you like what you saw, you know, consider uh, subscribing to the channel. Uh, every subscription helps out us little content creators and I would certainly appreciate it. So I will be back soon with another video from another amazing shop right here in Andover, New Jersey. So stay tuned for that and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.